Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. If you've seen my videos before, then welcome back. If you are new here, I'd love to have you hit subscribe so that you can get all of my videos as I make them. So what I do here at Easy Math with Miss Easley is I make math lesson videos that go all the way from third grade to fifth grade and hit all the different objectives that you need to know. And what I'm doing right now is I'm starting a new series called Working It Out. And I'm so excited about this one because it will really dig into test problems. So word problems that, um, you know, you might have the concept down, but just really digging in and tackling those word problems can be kind of tricky. So we're going to look at different vocabulary strategies. We're going to look at different things as you're working the problem out on your scratch paper. And we're really going to feel a lot more confident after we try some of these videos. So I'm so excited to get started. Let's dig in. So I thought we could start by just digging into the problem. I always like to read it through the, for the first time and then really start to try to figure out what the important parts are, you know, if I need to highlight or circle something before I start trying to look at the answer choices. So let's read it first one time through. It says the mass in kilograms of my Boston Terrier is written in expanded notation. And that looks like it's down below. Uh, eight times one plus five times, and it's important to say these out loud so you know what place it's in. So that says five times one tenth plus three times one hundredth. Okay, then the question, we don't wanna miss that because that's gonna tell us a lot about what we're gonna be doing. It says, what is this amount written in standard form? Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going from expanded notation. So I'm going to highlight or circle that. And then we're going to be turning into standard form or standard notation. So let me highlight that. Okay, now... I think this would be a good time to just make sure that we understand a lot of the vocabulary and see if everything's kind of making sense before we do any math. So it's saying the mass in kilograms of my Boston Terrier, and that might be a tricky set of words for you. If you don't know what a Boston Terrier is, it's a type of dog. But even if you didn't know, the cool thing about this problem is that even if you didn't know what that was, you probably still can just move along. You know that something uh, has a mass in kilograms uh, with the expanded notation. And we can go ahead and work with those numbers even if we don't know what the object is. So that's great about that. Um, and then we can go ahead and now that we've kind of talked about some of the words or the, you know, what this problem is all about, we could go ahead and pull up our scratch paper and get started. So one thing I really want to focus on during this, um, this series is how to, you know, a lot of our tests are on the computer. And so I really want to talk about how we can best solve those computer problems on scratch paper right next to our computer. So we're gonna be really be working on that because you know, a lot of times if you see a problem on your computer, you think, oh, I'm just gonna do this in my head. This one seems easy. But really jotting something down on scratch paper just makes you have a better chance of getting it right. So let's pull that up and we're gonna continue. All right, so here's my scratch paper over on the side. And I wanna make sure you know that I always suggest that even on the problems that you feel like are super easy, you know, you could just pick the right choice right away just by looking at it. I always still 
think that you should write it down. We're just going to feel more confident about our answer if we jot it down and double check. And it doesn't take all that long to do. So what I've done is I've just copied down the expanded notation. And what I think we should start with is just figuring out the value of each part of this number. So what is 8 times 1, since that's in the 1's place, what would that be? Okay, great. 8. Okay, then I'm going to copy down the plus signs. All right, then what do you think is 5 times 1 tenth? That can be a little tricky with decimals. But just think about it like counting. You know, th this one, we just counted up eight ones, right? So what do you think five one-tenths would be? Okay, awesome. Just five-tenths. Okay, then what do you think about the three groups of one-hundredth? We could also count by one-hundredth, two-hundredths, three hundredths. Okay, great. All right, now if we're putting this all together, one thing I like to do next is I like to make myself some little blanks so that I know, okay, there should be a ones place. There should be a tenths place. I could even label down below. And there should be a hundredths place. And I don't need a thousandths place because it doesn't mention thousandths in my expanded uh, notation, so I don't need that one. Okay, then we can start filling it in. What digit goes in the ones? Okay, awesome, that eight. What digit should go in my tenths place? Yep, you got it, that five. And then what digit should go in my hundredths place? Okay, awesome, this was one hundredth, so the three should go in the hundredths place. Okay, and then which answer choice matches our work? Yep, you got it, B. And it is a good thing that we went ahead and wrote this down because all of my answer choices are so similar. They have the same digits. It would be really easy to make a mistake on this one because they're all so similar. So now I feel so much more confident about the choice that I picked. And the last thing I want to mention is if you feel like you need a little bit more help with this type of math, I know we just went over a quick problem. I have a lesson that I'll uh, link in the description and it goes over all of this type of math and will really help you to watch a longer lesson on this type of math. All right, well I hope this helped you um, in your class this year and I hope that you enjoyed it.